What is going on, guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike, also known as Modded ATS. Today we'll be ripping around with John Ruda's 389 glider. We have a 500 cat electronic motor pre emission, which is the way to go, right? Also backed with a 13 speed with 390 rears. Got this nice, like, maroon style color here on the fender, the tanks, the roof cap with like an all white silver. See here we have modded transport on the tank. That is courtesy of Tyrone's booth. If you guys are looking for any type of skin for your trucks or even right there, your garage, make sure to check out Tyrone's booth. I have a link to his Facebook down in the description below. But uh, today we're going to run the Loops Low Boy. This is from Dro Modding. It's on his Patreon. It is only updated for 142. However, it is still working here on 146. Uh, we have the Jasper wheel pack. We have all the wheels pretty much mass matching. Excuse me. We have the uh, Alcoa Classics here on the back. And if we scooch up here to the tractor, we have the Peterbilt style rims here on the truck. And if you guys are just curious what a Peterbilt style is, if you look at the holes, the oval in the rim resembles the oval here on the hood. So, little fun fact there. Oval and oval, as you see there. But... We're going to jump right in this truck here and see uh, where we're going to go. Uh, we did do a load yesterday with the truck, and I completely messed up. <laughs> so I uh, picked the load up, and we only had to... Uh, we didn't have a far ride, but uh, the problem was that the recording here for the video whatnot was like so quiet. And the, the, Wait until you guys hear this truck. This truck is nasty. This truck is super loud, but... Let's take this D6. It's going to go over to Oxnard, California. So I'm sure California really loves us hanging out here in its beautiful town of Bakersfield. Fire this girl up. Crack the windows a little bit. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. I guess that'd be good if I put my foot in the clutch, right? Let me, uh... Oh, no. Breaking the gears ready. We've got... 142 miles on the truck, so pretty, uh, pretty new, pretty broken in. Another big update from 146 is the drive shaft. So check this out. If you look at the front of the truck behind the driver headlight, if I actually give it a little bit too much fuel, the drive shaft, the torque of the truck actually like moves the actual hood and the actual drive line, like it's actually pulling a load. So. Kind of a cool little update that uh, SCS had just come out with for uh, 1.46. Really glad that it works right now with, uh, like, Ruda's trucks, for example. But uh, we got a few mods in. Um, got JBX. We have the early autumn mod on from Grimes. We have the Jasper wheel pack. Ruda's glider, obviously, as we are in it currently. We have a traffic light mod on to kind of like help us out with the way the traffic light should kind of be. Uh, this way, you know, if you're if you're running out, you're not immediately having to hit a red light. Uh, let's just swing out a little further further for that. We just totally fucked that up. How bad am I stuck? Oh, not that bad. Can I raise the suspension? And there she goes. Did these people honking their horns? Rude. Well, they know a large car is trying to leave. Where are we picking this up? I think. Oh, we're picking it up at ADM. All right, cool. So we also have a real companies mod in, so you'll see trailers such as Walmart. Um, you'll see some real style gas stations, stuff like that. We are using a Toby i5 as an eye tracker, so you'll see my head going left and right as the camera goes left and right. I got the G27 steering wheel with the Southern Trucking Gaming shift knob that I got a few, uh, it's about a year ago now, almost two years ago probably. 
All my links to things I have will be down in the description, so you guys want to check them out. Some of the modders' websites, stuff like that. But a lot of the mods I use are on the Steam Workshop. It's kind of underrated. Now everyone wants to hear it already. This Jake bring on this truck sounds beautiful. Just a little display here because there's nobody here. We can make that turn. Sorry about that, Mr. Subaru. Large car parking. Charger come by, we'll go pick this up in there in the ADM. Guess we'll let this. Oh! Again, if you see here on the ground, we have this white line. Icons can be found in a Steam Workshop. So I have a lot of my settings off too, so if you guys are playing the game, usually it'll pop up. Literally, I have that all off, so I kind of have to know where I'm at, and then I know I'm right here. And we can go ahead and choose RD6 to go pick up. Now, another thing I just want to do real quick while I have this here. I just want to show you guys something, just in case we start crashing. Uh, breaking intensity. I have that all the way down as well. Stability. These are my stabilities here if you guys want to check that out. Um, I want to go up here, though, for the parking difficulty. I want to put this on random. So what, I, what that does with the random is that... I kind of like to play this game in a realistic field. Obviously, look, it's a game. We all cannot be super realistic. But um, I do like to try to play in a realistic manner. And um, it's kind of cool like when you like just pull up to the job site and you just see like the marks on the ground like where you have to go. You know, you don't have to like pick it or whatever. But with the SC SCS trailers, it's a little bit easier to just kind of say, screw it, I'll put the trailer wherever, you know what I mean? I don't care. But when you have some aftermarket trailers, such as like Droz or uh, even the Mac, uh, Mac uh, flatbed that comes with Roland 3D9 or any other style type of trailer or dump trailers or whatever, sometimes they might be a little longer than like say a, a regular SCS trailer. So the parking difficulty might just be a little bit more hard or almost impossible. But for the most part, we, uh, we get it done pretty good. Let's uh, see if we can get this thing in here. Cut that all the way to the right. And then we'll cut this all the way to the left. And I still don't see my trailer. Alright, so let's just try to jackknife this around. Oh, there's my trailer. So we're obviously going to have to pull up again and fix this, but that's fine. Quite alright. Go up on an angle there into the uh, into the shed to uh, help us out here. So you see there, we're almost on the line, but we're gonna check out this round. We also have to uh, adjust our mirrors. I always hate looking out this other mirror. Even in real life, like obviously the game, I can just probably look out the back window, but I can't reach my head all the way around because I don't have my tracker set up that way. Uh, let's see, this is going to put me over the line one more time, right? Awesome. That's what we wanted. And now, we'll straighten ourselves out. Now we should be able to just jackknife it slowly around like that. You see, we can almost control this the entire side now. Completely jackknife it. And then follow it around. Beautiful. Straighten up. Back straight in. Oh, stalled her. So another thing too I do is I mess with my clutch pedal. So I drive trucks in real life. Uh, if you guys didn't know that, uh, I am a third generation truck driver. And when you drive a big truck, there's something called free play in the pedal. So what that means is before you actually engage the clutch and you put your foot on the clutch, you have like dead pedal. So right, I'll, I'll show you guys what that means here in just a second. 
because I can actually show you guys. But let's pull the brakes. Take it out of reverse. Stay. And uh, shut the truck off and let's get loaded. So we are picking up this D6. So let's show you exactly what I mean with the clutch as we blow it out with the D6 here. But uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at this thing, actually. Nice little D6. We got a little bit of overhang on the trailer. Not too bad of an overhang. Decent size load here for this kind of setup. Or tandem, a little bit of wheelbase. I'm sure we're double framed. But uh, let's fire this truck up again. We got the beacons on the roof. We also have the beacons in installed in the rear lights on the trailer. But here, I'll show you guys here. Like right now, my foot is on the clutch. Right now, my foot is up off the clutch a little bit. And you can see like how I... See how the RPMs drop underneath the five? That's my grab. That's where the clutch actually grabs the gear. So I gotta remove my brake. And technically speaking, I'm not even hitting the gas pedal right now, right? I can just let off the clutch and the truck starts moving. Now what happens is, is like I can drive, like right now my foot's on the clutch. But if I put my foot too far on the clutch, here I like it, it drags it out a little bit. So what happens is that I tap the clutch a lot of times, like, like I, I like the, I don't know, I, I drive weird, right? So I tap the clutch sometimes, and on my truck in real life, I got dead space there, so it's kind of like a footrest. So what happens is, is on this game, I kind of like raise the, the clutch a little bit up to kind of like create an imaginary dead space, almost like a free pedal. So if the clutch isn't all the way at the top, it's down a little bit, kind of almost like a real truck. Might be super confusing, I don't know. But let's take this ride out. We're gonna have a lot of sounds, a lot of jake brakes, a lot of turbo whistles. We got our coffee. We're ready to ride. I love the, uh, just the way they go over the speed bumps in this game. I think it's so nice. Get ready to head on the road. We'll put our vegans on because, you know, dope things are about to go down. And then we should actually, you'll see them here in the back as well. But let's begin to slowly begin to pull out here. We're going to have to take this other lane first. Like I said, we're going to try to drive as realistic as possible. It's nothing guaranteed, nothing promised. But I do, I, I do want to give you guys some good engine sounds. I know you guys want to know what mods are in here and, and, and what kind of motors we're pulling. And I love being a diesel guy, a truck guy. I love hearing a certain motor and how they sound when they pull a certain gear or whatever. So just even like this right here. Just that, boo! I, I love that. I love hearing the turbos just make that scream. I, I think that is so cool. Especially like if you're outside and you're watching a truck go by it or something. It is such a cool sound. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We forgot to adjust our mirrors. I always do that. So let's try to get ourselves lined up here. And then uh, we're going to magically, it magically pauses the game, right? Let's, uh, let's pretend like we uh, are on the side of the road. There we go. Five. We know, I know I can see it, but it needs to come in a little bit more. There we go. So like I said, we do have a traffic light mod on, so the traffic lights are going to be a little bit more realistic. Um, 
on how long they are. So if you guys are playing convoy or multiplayer, which is convoy, um, it used to only be like one truck can make a turn on the left hand uh, arrow here, but now with this traffic light mod, it uh, kind of makes it a little more realistic, which is nice. I check the phone, make sure dispatch and call. Swing this all the way out here. I hate this turn sometimes too. There's our garage there, the modded transport headquarters. Always good cracking the jig there in front of the home base. speed in here. Uh, I don't want to go too fast down this road. It's a 30. See, like, the light just went yellow. But there's still the time to go through the light, which is like in real life. Very rarely do you come up in lights where they go green, yellow, red. It does happen, but it is rare. But, it's, uh, you know, yellow doesn't mean stop. Yellow means caution, prepare to stop. So, it's kind of nice though when you're trucking, you know, you, you can't always just stop on a dime. But what I always do is I always was taught to preemptively think that every single traffic light that I come up to is going to turn red. That's kind of like the rule of thumb I learned. You know, kind of just know that the light's going to turn red. Always prepare yourself. This way you're not on top of a light. God forbid there's a problem. Maybe on the cross intersection you don't see coming. You're always just in that mindset prepared. Here, uh, I hate this, uh, I don't hate this split here. I hate the occluid up here, or the bit of him. But, uh, let's head it over here on the Merd. We'll be getting on the uh, freeway, headed southbound. 151 miles on this glider. Not sure if I'm going to put a driver in it or not. You guys are enjoying some of the sounds here of this Cat 500-3406E. This motor is by Salab Jerry. Another uh, modding area instead of the workshop is if you guys have ever heard of the Trucky app. I'll leave a link to the, uh, the app there down in the description. It's a third-party add-on, and uh, if you guys look at the bottom left of my screen there, you'll see it says 8 minutes, 9.05 a.m. So what that does is when you guys pick a load here in ATS, you know, it'll tell you, you know, delivered in an hour and a half, delivered in 15 hours. And sometimes, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a kid, a young man, grown ass man, whatever. You got to know, like, hey, you're getting in trouble. You got to get off the computer. You got to get off the game. Then you say, hey, I got to do one more load. But now you know on the bottom left, it takes eight minutes to do this load and you'll be done around nine o'clock. So it kind of gives you a little bit of sense of reality because I maybe be like unlike a lot of you, I start playing this game, I get completely lost. I don't realize what is going on. I just enjoy the game that much that I completely lose track of time. And the next thing you know, we put down over 12,000 miles in a week. But uh, there we go, that guy's coming on over. A couple big rides here going down the freeway here. Like I said, I'm going to put a lot of the mod links down in the description. If you guys have any questions about certain things, certain mods, whatever, leave a comment down. I'll try to help you out as best as I can. But like I said, some mods are payware, some mods are free. I'm not here to argue whether or not you think that the mod is worth being paid for. Guys put their time and effort into it. I appreciate people's work. You know, I believe that nothing is, nothing should be for free. You know, I think hard work, you know, deserves some sort of payoff, so... It is what it is. And you can't argue with it. This truck right here, beautiful truck. See that, uh, we, got a, we got a nice incline here, so we're going to hear a little bit of a big uh, pull up here. I forgot about this mountain here. We're actually going to get in the right lane. We're not as heavy as I thought we were going to be, which is not too shabby. But also, too, let me know what you guys want to see. 
I enjoy making these types of videos. I love playing this game. Obviously, I got the steering wheel, I've got the shifter, I've got the eye tracker. I want to buy so many more things for this game. But uh, let me know too what you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see more videos based on certain mods? Do you guys want to see videos like my Stay Loaded series where we do a one-off custom truck with a trailer and do a, a load with like kind of like a cinematic feel to it? Do you want me to do like a single player playthrough? Do you want me to do it as a bone stock game with no mods and see how far we can build a company? Or do you want to see some mods in there to see how far we build a company? You know, let me know down in the comment section what you guys want to see and uh, we'll make sure to throw them out there for you. Like I said, I enjoy playing this game. Everyone goes through the drips and drabs of it. I've taken my breaks from it. Everyone's taking their breaks from it, but I think we have a, we have a moment here, boys. I think it's time to uh, let freedom ring here. What do you guys say, right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be a little forgiving here. We're gonna put it up in eighth. So this is 12th gear right now. And as soon as we come around this bend, we're gonna let freedom ring. Uh, let's uh, see when we start going down this downhill. And um, hope you guys enjoy the sounds of my people. Hear the uh, the cat, so 
Bruh, we're gonna make a lot of videos. I wanna, I wanna continue to make videos again. I enjoy doing it. I wanna like make a couple of different builds, different trucks. Uh, I've been live streaming a lot more, so if you guys wanna tune into my live streams, I've been uh, live streaming nightly around 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do about an hour and a half to two hours, do a nice ride. Uh, sometimes we ride solo, sometimes we ride with uh, my, my main man, Mr. George, Mr. Modern Prince on Instagram. Uh, we both drive trucks in real life. We work together, actually. But, um... We're also trying to get a profile where we get some of the old crew back together. Oh, a little wobbly there. It's a over lane here. Ooh, it's like a runaway hill, huh? stuck on the hill. Please do not get stuck on this hill, Mike. Please stay green. Please stay green. Please stay green. Alright, nice. Uh, I guess we can stay here. Nice. Look at that, boys. Green is for me. Let's go. And it looks like we have our destination up here on the right. I love it when a delivery makes sense. Looks like a farming style yard. Maybe it might even be a farm, an auction, something like that, maybe. And we're bringing a D6 here, so. It was kind of weird when the game first came out and we started delivering, like, D6 low bit or um, bulldozer mods to, uh, like, Walmart. That was a bit odd, but let's see how I get in this. Okay, we gotta go over the railroad track here and make a right and then go over again. Alright, nobody's turning there. We're gonna make the right on red. We're gonna have to take the road here and then make this right here as well. So usually, like I said, you guys pull into a place, usually you'll see your green thing right there, and you get to select, you know, where am I going to put this load? So now, when we pull in here, we're just going to have the lines down. And there's other different types of mods that do that. This one's called Icons. There's one that's called Immersive Symbols, so that has cones. Cones is kind of a cool feel, right? If someone, you go to a job site and someone says, hey man, put that over by the cones. That kind of also gives a little bit of a realistic feel as well. But, uh... Man, look at this dozer here, right? We already watched the front wheels go over the speed bump. Let's watch these back wheels. This front axle is a lift axle, by the way. But, uh, we're very low as we kind of cut through the speed bump. All right, it's not 100% real. Well, we lost it. There they are. One, two, and three. Uh, where are we going to be putting this bad girl? I don't see even the spot we're supposed to. Anybody? We might actually be in this back corner. Yep, we are. I see the lines now. See those lines on the ground? So, we're kind of ha having a little bit of a uh, interesting... Uh, there we go. Make sure my collisions are good. There we go. Have a nice little drop-off over there. Hopefully this makes it a little bit easier than when we first arrived to pick up the load. Now that our mirrors are adjusted. And let's uh, hear like a chopper or something.
can see how my stack. I cut it back around, I know that. No, 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 no. I'm on like. I just don't want to hit the um, the blade of the dozer on anything. I'd rather just get in the hole, and then we can line it up on where the guys want it. Or we might get lucky and get it in one shot. I don't personally think we're going to be that lucky, though. Oh, don't sell yourself short, buddy boy. Mike might still have that trailer experience. Oh, see? Right there, I let off the clutch too soon. Also, we're also heavy, but... Uh, do I want to come back around this way? I do, I think. Right, we're not going to be able to see the actual line because of the blade, but... Let's bring it around town. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Let's try to get that trailer square in here. Yeah, buddy. We got it. All right. Awesome. So, again, guys, thanks for hanging out with me on this ride. We're going to uh, drop this dozer off, have these guys unload it. We'll... Drop the bags. Oop. There they go. Drop the bags on this bad bitch. Guys, thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys hanging out. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you guys know when I go live, when the next video comes out. Make sure to hit the like button if you guys like the video. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Everything is at modded ATS. I post mostly a lot of stuff on Instagram, and I'm going to try to do a little more on Facebook. But uh, again, again, you guys want to see something. Again, 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 again. If you guys want to see anything specific, make sure to put them down in the comment section and uh, we'll get those types of videos out. We've got plenty of mods. We've got plenty of... I was going to say time, but truck drivers never have time, and I have no time whatsoever. But we got plenty of something, but uh, I enjoy making these videos, so if you guys want to see something specific, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Most of the mods that are in today's video will be in the description. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Make sure to keep the hammer down, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.